share how I made these hand-built ornaments with you. I made some in a sphere shape and some in a teardrop shape. And I started with two equal pinch pots for the sphere. So here's the example. Two pinch pots of as even as you can get them. You want to slip and score and then you're going to place the two pieces together and you're going to work on making the seam seal to one another. So I use my thumb or a finger to press the clay sort of back and forth in both directions to make sure you've got a really good seal on that seam. And I do that all the way around. Once I've got the seam sealed all the way around, the form actually becomes a little bit stronger once the air is trapped. And then you can go back and smooth out any little imperfections and kind of get the sphere to the shape that you want. So that's what I'm gonna finish up here. Really getting the seam to seal up and then I can go back and perfect this sphere form. The teardrop form is really similar. The only difference is I've created one pinch pot in a nice round traditional shape and then I pinched another pinch pot into more of a cone shape. So I would press my thumb down into the center to kind of get the point at the bottom and then continue to pinch around the sides until I get something that's more like a cone shape. Then I'm going to put those two pieces together the same way that I did with the sphere. I'm just going to seal the two pots um, so that the seam connects well. Once you've got the seam of the cone and pinch pot sealed together, you can kind of perfect your tube drop shape the same way you did with the sphere by smoothing out with your fingers or a rib or whatever tool you'd like to make it um, the shape that you're looking for. One other thing that I did once I got the seam finished was rolled it back and forth a little bit on my surface on the surface of the table. Um, so that I could kind of perfect that bottom cone shape. Shaped a little more with my hands until I got the teardrop shape I was looking for. I'm calling these ornaments because I've added a little cap at the top so that you can add a hole to put a string through to hang them from. But if you'd prefer them be something more decorative, then you don't need to add the cap at the top. But what I did was just rolled a little ball of clay and pinched it with, between my fingers like you saw there and kind of tapped it down on the table so that it had a flat little bottom and then placed it on top of the ornament and make sure it fit there. So again, I just took a little piece of clay, rolled it into a ball, pinched it between my thumb and my pointer finger and tapped it down on the table. So I've got this little kind of like a triangular form that sits on the top and I'm going to poke a hole through it with a, with a hole punch tool or just a straw or needle tool whatever you have. I let them dry until they were about leather hard and then I just went back with any tools that I had and added some designs. I just carved right into it. These are a couple examples and when I flip it upside down you can see that the last thing I had to do was poke a little hole through the bottom to make sure that that closed form um, didn't have trapped air inside. This is one of my finished forms that I'm mimicking right here. So I started with the teardrop shape. It's about leather hard. In fact, when I was making this, it got a little too dry, so it made it a little bit harder to carve it. You can see as I'm trying to pull some clay away here, it's a little bit too hard. So you wanna do about leather hard and um, carve whatever designs you like into it.